Facebook. Good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel if you are subscribed. And if you are new, welcome to the world of WIS. I'm WIS, a regional flight attendant, and I hope that you do stick around and subscribe to become a part of my world. Today is day one of five, and it's also commuting day. I'm currently on my way to the airport. It's 1.21, and my flight leaves at 2.34. I finish at 11.04, and I'll catch you guys later. We landed at around like I want to say 11 15 got to the hotel at 11 45 it is currently it's currently 1 16 and we have a 12 p.m van tomorrow um but today was a great day it was commuting day today didn't feel too too long because I had a late start and all our flights were under 35 minutes like I couldn't have asked for a better day one great passengers quick flights and I'll see you guys tomorrow Good morning. It's day 205. We are currently in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's currently 1140. I have a 12 p.m. van. Um, my room is packed. I'm actually going to undo this bed because I sat on it last night and now just so you know housekeeping doesn't bypass it and then um, go downstairs, eat my lunch and just wait for the van down there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here you are. And yeah, appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> have a good one. Hey world, so I'm in bed, showered, it's 12.05. Um, I was so busy today that I didn't really get a chance to vlog, but our flight earlier from Chattanooga to Atlanta was like 35 minutes. Um, our Tulsa turn going there and coming back was an hour and 35 minutes apiece. Both those flights were packed. Um, had a few issues with seats and people sitting next to someone they don't know and um, trying to move uh, people who weren't willing and able to assist out of the exit row. And it was just a lot. But it took us a quick 45 minutes to get to Wilmington from Atlanta. Um, and yeah, I'm tired, so I will catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning, world. Good morning. Today is officially day three of five. I'm still in the process of getting my room together and ironing my shirt back there. Um, it is 12.26. We have a 1.15 van, so I'm doing great on time. Woke up, took a shower, did my hair, um, and just need to do the little miscellaneous things around my room. Another four flight day, we'll get through it. So watch me do this quick little time lapse of getting ready and catch y'all later. <laughs> Birmingham, it's like 4 39. We leave at 5 37. Went and got some Chick fil A. I shouldn't, but I did. But it took us a quick 34 minutes to get here, and it's probably gonna take us the same amount to get back. Had some angry people sitting next to people they ain't know, so they was a little salty about that. But our flights have been full, and it's December and it's holiday, so travel is picking up. Made it to Gulfport. It took us an hour and one minute to get here. All our flights today have been packed. Um, I am tired. <sighs> Four flights today, we got through it. But as you guys can see, these curtains won't close. So I'm gonna show you guys a traveling hack so you can get a good night's rest on the morning the sun doesn't wake you up. All you need is a pair of pant hangers and you just clip them together. That way, if the sun doesn't peek up 
in the morning time and no one gets a free show. I'm about to shower, unwind, take my food, put it in the fridge. It doesn't have a freezer section, so I'm gonna have my, um, I'm gonna have the front desk freeze up my ice packs and get in bed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon or morning or whenever. We have a 2 p.m. van, so we'll figure it out. <laughs> Good morning world, good morning. Disregard my appearance, I am tired, but it's 10.20 in the morning. You guys know I have a 2 p.m. van, but uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. The van driver is actually gonna be taking me to Bath and Body Works because it's candle day weekend and I'm about to stock up on my candles. So yeah, she's waiting for me. I told her I'll be down in two minutes. Um, I just need to put my jacket on because it is 39 degrees in Gulfport. Are we not in the South? Anyways. <laughs> I'm going to put my winter coat on and head downstairs, so I'll catch y'all later. Guys, they literally just sold out out of all the three-week candles. Like, they're literally taking the sign off. Oh. <laughs> Guys. They just sold out within 30 minutes. Hey world, so we're on a plane, um, we're in Gulfport. It is currently 3.20, no it's 2.20, I forgot we're on Central Time. And um, we have two flights today. I had a rough morning, I didn't even wanna talk about it. You guys know what happened with the candle situation, that they ran out. Um, I didn't tell you guys that yesterday when we were in Wilmington, I went to Bath and Body Works and they were sold out too, so I thought I'd have better luck. I thought I'd have better luck in Gulfport. So we're gonna try again tomorrow in Fort Walton. And fingers crossed that I get it. If not, I'm gonna miss out on candle day today. So I'm still gonna be in positive spirits. Um, it's an easy day, two legs today, and let's see what today has in store for us. Hey, world, hey. So it's 9.42. I took a shower, ate dinner, and I thought that I was having a late report tomorrow, but I checked my schedule and we have a 7.30 report in the morning with a 7.15 van. So the plans of going to get candles backfired on me. So candle day 2020 for WIS has just fumbled. But um, it took us, we did two flights today. It took us 54 minutes to get from Gulfport to Atlanta and then from Atlanta to Fort, Wal Fort, Fort Walton Beach was 48 minutes. We're here. Um, my 15 things that flight attendants love video did go up today if you have not checked that video out i suggest that you do um i was just responding to the comments and in a few messages on instagram just chatting it up with you guys um and yeah i'm about to go to sleep because i gotta be up at six and i'll see you guys tomorrow oh tomorrow's go home day i was so disappointed about the candles that i forgot to talk about go home day but it's go home day <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. up from 12 o'clock in the morning until I want to say 5 30 ladies if you know you know so I was struggling last night pain pills weren't helping me so I was a bit irritated this morning and um, I'm just happy it's go home day and I get to go home and I'm happy that I don't have to double leg it I'm in Atlanta so I'm just gonna be catching a quick flight from Atlanta to Jacksonville we're supposed to get in at 2 30 hopefully we're getting a look a little bit early so I can catch a three o'clock flight and yeah. hey y'all so I have officially finished working it's about 2 30 I'm about to attempt to catch a three o'clock flight to Jacksonville you guys know that this was like an Atlanta pairing so all I have to do is catch one flight home and hopefully I am home by four so hopefully this works out Got 30 minutes to get to my gate. I should be fine.
Hey world, so we are home in Jacksonville. Got here at about like four o'clock. Um, as you guys know, I did a Birmingham turn and going to and from Birmingham was 34 minutes. Um, I was able to land at 2.15 and I was able to catch a three o'clock flight to get me to Jacksonville at four o'clock. I'm so excited that we finished out this five days strong. I had three flying partners. It was just like a lot going on on that trip. And um, on day one of the trip, I told you guys that this was like an Atlanta-based pairing. Um, if you watched my 50 Things That Flight Attendants Love, you guys know that I told you that I am New York-based, but because of the pandemic, there is not a lot of New York flying. So my company has been deadheading me to other bases to start my trips. So this trip started and ended technically in Atlanta, and I was only able to catch one flight home, and that was just amazing. It was beautiful. Um, I'm so excited that today ended up having such a 360 turnaround because you guys know it started off a bit rough, but I have two days off until my next five day. I'm about to be a complete lazy person. Um, this couch is going to be my home for the next two days, <laughs> but I did want to tell you guys that you guys saw throughout this vlog, I was struggling to find candles for candle day 2020. I went to three different stores in two different cities and in two different states and had no luck. But just a round of applause for my boyfriend. My boyfriend went to three different stores and stood in long lines to get me some candles. Yes, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Thank you so much, babe, for getting me some candles. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys these candles real quick. So here are all the candles that I got for candle day. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and switch a couple of them out because they ran out of a lot of scents. But I'm so excited. This, this was a job well done, babe. Thank you so much for getting me these candles. Wow. Came home to um, some fresh, beautiful roses and some candles. Like, couldn't have asked for a better welcome home surprise. Um, and while you are watching this, um, this video is going to go up on December 12th. And if you noticed, you probably didn't notice, but... I gave you guys a bonus video on Wednesday and it's going to be the first time that I got COVID tested and my Christmas decorations. So I'm not doing Vlogmas, but I hope that you guys did enjoy the little bonus video. If you have not checked it out, I suggest that after watching this amazing vlog that you do go ahead, check it out. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. We are going to comment. Yes, you guessed it. A candle emoji. Um, that was that was just the topic. That was the thing to get this trip. Um, candle emoji. So you, I know that you watched the whole video. Be sure to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, world. Bye.